welcome to this East Lothian kayak fishing video. We're out here in the gorgeous sound of Jura. We've got Jura behind us, we've got Isla to our right, we've got the beautiful beach of Port Ban and Kriya Beach in front of us, Kilberry, just above the Mull of Kintyre. Here on holiday, lots of clips that you may have seen already, they may be going into multiple videos, not quite sure what I'm doing with it yet. Uh, we've had a couple of dogfish already today, probably all we're going to get sitting here, but do you know what? Don't get dogfish on the east coast, so I'm happy. Catching fish, and I think we have another fish on, have we? That would be well timed. It's a bit choppy, um, the wind's picking up, so I'm going to have to head in shortly. I thought I'd do a little intro because I haven't done one yet. So, um, welcome and thanks for joining us. Lots of people have told me this holiday that there aren't actually fish here. So we'll see. I have caught one mackerel, but just the one. We're almost at the, the drop house. There's actually some boys up here. So Mark some lobster parts. I think I'm gonna fire the nose. <laughs> and just fix those boys. <laughs> if it's not too far, it's not too fast. But it's just all in your way. The worst thing you could do is hook up some spots, drag parts into the side. That wouldn't be very fair. But if I'm stable on them, or if I want to anchor on it, I might anchor on it. <laughs> I've got some bait. And I've got some like rigs for fishing at anchor. I don't actually have any casting rig with me. Um, if you've been watching this channel for a while, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I've been fishing with. Hold on. My breath. My cuddling. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I've been having a trouble with one of my rods. It's too long. Can't seem to get there the fish in because it's too long and it's a really light low rod and it's cheap and I like using cheap rods on the boat um, but today I've got with me my original very first kayak rod the Shakespeare Omni five foot kayak light rod so it's a uh, eight to twelve pound and I've got my usual Shakespeare ugly stick and we're gonna put some bait on that so I've got feathers on the, the light rod and some bait on the heavy rod. Now I might switch up, might put a little jig on, but what I'm not going to be able to do is caps. It's not really a great rod casting distance. So we'll have to just kind of see how what we get into. We're in eight years of water without much structure. Let's see if we can find that drop off with a really big shell. Sounds like 20 meters. Goes for about eight to 20. If I can find that, that's what I want to fit. <laughs> I'm just on to sure where it is. It's in front of me somewhere. The fact that this guy's got pots, wherever this is, wherever these pots are, these pots are going to signify, you know, some structure. You don't get lobster on that sandy bottom. I suppose unless they're fishing for some sort of weird spider crab or something. But I don't think you get many spiders here. So let's see if we can hook up these boys. Get their pickup line just here, and we'll just see if we're going to shift it. If we're going to pull it, then obviously we don't want to hold on to this. Let's see if we're going to be able to hold their line. I 
could just sit here. I will drift off eventually. Okay, we're rigged up to these pots now. We're gonna see if we're moving them. We don't feel like currently we are, so that's good. shelf is maybe 20 maybe not even 20 meters that way so we're right on top of it but we're not on it I'm just wondering if I move according to this I'm currently not drifting at all oh yes oh that is fishy oh fish Get it? I don't know if it did. I can't tell if I got it. It, it definitely. Oh, it's very shallow. You know my leader, but I did put quite a lot of leader on. Oh, I have got a fish! Yeah! First fish of the trip. Well, of this exact trip. And it's a wee doggy. Oh, oh no, it's off. Oh well. That would make life, my life a bit easier. Yes, we got a fish on the kayak. Do you know what? I'm going to do something I don't often do. I'm going to put my paddle down. I wish I brought a drink. Can I have a beer? I don't advocate drinking and kayaking, so I could have had a wee zero beer. I actually haven't got any alcoholic beers. I've only got zero beers with me. Peroni Zero. Don't like Peroni Zero as much, I have to say. Much prefer... Uh... Thought I had a fish there, sorry. Uh, much prefer uh, Corona Zero, although I've gone a bit off that recently. Erdinger, non-alcoholic Erdinger, best zero alcohol beer you can get. A bit gassy sometimes, but don't have any of that with me. I've only got Peroni, it was all shop had. So. But don't have it out on the kayak, so I don't even know why I'm bothering to talk about it. Well, I would get a delivery if I could persuade someone. Hold on. Hold on. I've got a... Okay, I've got a fish. I have to go. I've got to go. Fish. Okay, um, basically there's a good picture of me, but I've got a fish. I have to go. This is a better fish than the last one. It's Did another dog fish. Piece, it's a better one. But they're such rag buggers. Oh no, he's off as well. Oh man. These hooks just aren't quite, I'm not quite setting the hook enough. Are you going to try his dummy? How do you think? It's not... So my friend phoned me to tell me there's a really nice picture of me sitting in the middle of the paps of Jura. Um, my wife's got my big lens, so I'm going to try and get her to take a picture, but she's currently dealing with about 100 children. Well, it sounds like she's dealing with 100 children. She's actually dealing with two. One's mine, one isn't. So... I think our child is causing the problems and my friend's child is quite happy, hanging out. Probably not causing any problems. Oh, here we go. Here comes another fish. Let it eat, then we'll hook it. Got another fish. Here it is, right at the surface. Right, I've hooked it this time. Third dog fish. Got 
adventure in the boat. Ow, don't fight me. Right. Got him. Oh, I'm gonna need the pliers. Where's the hook? You're wearing your food, mate. Anyone ever tell you not to eat not to your food? Ow! It's my hand. God, oh, they're strong for their size, you know? Where's this hook going? That way. There we go. That's a dogfish with a bull hut. This might be a little bull hut, actually. Right, I'll explain why it's so... Do not bite me. There it is. I'm trying to get the nasal flaps in so I can have a look. Little dogfish or bull husk. Let's see if I can get him straightened out. Nah, he's not going to straighten out. All right, there he goes. Untie yourself. Thank you. Away. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to fish for. The dogfish seem to have gone off. Uh, we had we had three or four, three I think, in the boat. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I'll fish a little bit longer. Wind's picking up. Probably only have another hour of wind anyway. There's going to be a wedding on the beach at half one. So I think we'll just try to get in so we're not in the way of that wedding. And uh, we'll just see what happens. Thank you for joining me today. And um, if this is the end, then uh, do give it a like and subscribe. 75% of my watching people are not subscribed. So if you can give this video a subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Um, if you enjoy the videos, if you're watching the videos and you're not subscribed, it doesn't cost anything. The problem is we have this subscription, it costs money. No, it's free. Hit the button, hit the bell. I don't care about the bell. Hit the button. Let's get up to 500, 1,000 subscribers. Let's try this year, really hit a thousand subscribers, monetize some of the videos, buy more fishing gear, make better videos. That's the aim. Have more time to make videos. Imagine that. Imagine if all I could do is make videos. It'd be great. They're just not good enough to do that yet because I don't put enough energy into it. It's chicken and egg. I'm ranting now. Subscribe. Done. If anyone looks at Navionics around here, and I'll put a clip in maybe if I'm if I'm feeling that way inclined, if I remember basically. Um, it's like eight meters flat, and then it goes buff. It's gone to 11, which isn't quite the kind of steep drop off I was thinking it was, but it does kind of suddenly drop away to like 20, 30 meters. Now, I don't know if I've ever put up clips of my early paddling days, but I used to really struggle psychologically with anything deeper than about 10 meters. I just, I don't know what it was, but anything deeper than 10 meters made me really uncomfortable. And I feel it just a little bit just now. Probably because I don't know where I am. I fish in 20, 30 meters of water. Oh, well, not really not 30, but 
20 meters of water often at home. I'm quite comfortable in 20 meters of water, but I guess here, you know, I know those waters so well. <laughs> I could tell you, well, before the big storms last year, I could tell you where every rock was. Just about. So I always knew how the water would behave. I guess here I don't. But that's as in some flat, nondescript water. Just shallow flatness. So two options. One, we run a drift here. See if we can pick up some structure. Two, we anchor here and see if we can pick up a ray or something on the bottom. Option is anchor three. Down properly. Yes. Okay. Should all be ready. I need to just drop it. Okay. Now, it looks like it's got to go through the cable itself. So let's do that. Really let it slide, you should feed it out technically. Actually, you shouldn't even hold it at all, it should just run. Technically, it should just run. Now that's on the bottom, is it holding? Yeah, looks like it's holding. I just said anchor up for a wee skate, which is not what I meant. Anchor up for a wee ray. The current is definitely battering the back of the boat. Like, pretty intense. I don't know if I like this actually, and I think I am slipping. My anchor is dragging a wee bit. I'll give it a few minutes, if I'm dragging too much, I'll have to make a change to my plan. Maybe just, just paddle about a bit. I could always paddle back for the boy I was anchored up on yesterday. And I know some rough ground around here as well, so maybe try and find some more structure. I think I just said anchor up for a wee skate, which is not what I meant. Anchor up for a wee ray. The current is definitely battering the back of the boat. Like, pretty intense. I don't know if I like this actually, and I think I am slipping. My anchor is dragging a wee bit. I'll give it a few minutes, if I'm dragging too much, I'll have to make a change to my plan. Maybe just, just paddle about a bit. I could always paddle back for the boy I was anchored up on yesterday. And I know some rough ground around here as well, so maybe try and find some more structure. Okay, that's it on the bottom. Sure, we've got a bite here. Yeah. <clears throat> T sure I have it this time. Organized, that's the key here. That's the leader. And there's no fish. Right, we're back fishing again. Um I forgot to bring another card with me out. Another memory card, I forgot to change it for a left. So I'm not 100 percent sure how long this card's gonna last, basically. We'll see. We're definitely not, we're not going anywhere, so that's good. We're not moving. 
So we'll just sit here for a bit. I'm just gonna get rid of that minging, stinky squid. Squid is so stinky. I've got loads of it, so I'm, I mean, I'm gonna ditch it all in the water before I go. Anything that's not used, because this is the last day fishing. Pack up the kayak, pack up the land tomorrow, and away we go. I can't explain how bad all of this smells. Like, if you had, you talk about smelly vision. Oh my god, it is horrendous. Um, oh, it's just all so stinky and rotten and really not very nice. I'm sending down a bit of mackerel here that I know isn't going to last very long because it's so messed up. Everything just smells so terrible. The ink is holding, which is good. Oh, I've just got like minging mm, rotten fish guts on my. Oh, my pouch has just broken from my phone. Well, that's unhelpful. Um, uh, uh, let's clean this kayak before we. Uh, Pack a bit of a clean so that it's not so minging. Right, got a bit of mackerel down there. Just ditched the other half of that mackerel because it was awful. We'll leave that out there and I'll see you again if we get something. It is stinky on this boat today. Oh. Really solid bite on the mackerel there. Did I get it? I can't tell. Yeah, I think I've got it. I think I've got it this time. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I do, and the camera's pointing all over the shop. Let's see if we can fix the camera. It's difficult. Do I want to catch the fish or do I want to get it on video? Let's see. Don't know if I, I actually have this. I've been able to keep tension on it. It does feel a little bouncy. Maybe do have it. Not sure I'm in I'm actually all in camera, but hopefully enough of me is. Yeah, there's a fish here, I'm sure. That I was sure last time. Guess what it is? It's a little dogfish again. Right, buddy. Can we get you in the net this time? Can we get you in the boat this time? If you don't mind. Not hooked all that at all. High chance it might come off here. Got it. Its nasal flaps are connected to its mouth. Is that making the dogfish? I think it does. Was it making a little bull husk? It'd be cool if it was a little bull husk. Don't grab me. Oh my god, they're so strong. No. Right. No. Wood pliers gone. And they've only got little teeth. The little teeth that I don't particularly want to fight with. Uh, let go of my braid, please. Go. Okay. Not really holding it properly to show him to the camera. But there he is. Whatever he is. Whether he's a bull or a dogfish. He's trying to bite me. Nasal flaps connected to the mouth. Bull or dogfish, can't remember. I had one yesterday with nasal flaps not connected to the mouth, and one with nasal, that one nasal flaps were connected to the mouth. Seems like they want the macro, which is a shame because I just binned the macro. Well, I binned a bit of the macro. Let's try again with a bit more macro. Do have more. I literally brought, I brought quite a lot of bait with me because I thought I'd get more days, not necessarily fishing on the water, oh, that's bad. but fishing, um, just fishing in general on the beach um, because I knew the water was, the weather wasn't good for the water. But turned out that actually the weather wasn't good for fishing at all. It just and I didn't really have time. Didn't have time to get to the places I wanted to to get to. My van had an issue. Um, those of you that watched the LRF video will remember my van exhaust falling off. Well, the latest issue is clutch related. So I just didn't want to drive the van too much while I was here. Um, 
Huh. Right, get this bit of macro on. I'm not really using the dongle to its effectiveness. Obviously, you know, I could should really hook this on and then strap it a little bit to the dongle. Um, but I'm not really doing that. I'm just kind of just tucking it on, really. It might actually just through uh, here. There we go. Is that hook out? Hooks out. All that matters really is the hook, is the hook out. You know. What's up here? What's up here? Hooked my boat with the weight. Right, get this down. Oh, another good fish. Happy with that. Sitting on the bottom. A bit of tension on. There we go. Oh, just leave that sitting again. And we're fishing. It's uh, somewhat turning out here and it's getting a little bumpy. Don't get me wrong, it's not anything too crazy. Um, but it's definitely not. If it continues to escalate as it has over the last few minutes, it's going to be an unpleasant pedal back in. The good thing is I'll be pedaling kind of, I'll be against the wind and the tide, but I will be with the way, like against the waves as well. So the waves will be hitting the front of the boat rather than, so we head on to the sea, which is what I prefer. Worst case scenario, I suppose I could come in on the beach and walk it back. There's a huge beach to my right. If I turn the camera here, you I know, mean, I launched. I launched over there, which may be off camera. Well, I'm changing my GoPro battery and we've got a bite on the rod. Uh, I'm trying to talk to you about paddling in. It's all gone a bit wrong just now. Yeah, there's definitely a fish, but I can't get the GoPro battery back in the case. So I'm rushing. I'll leave it to make sure it hooks itself. It's quite a small fish, I think. It's not nearly as big a full as that last one. Let's have a look. Did I hook it? Maybe. I'm not 100% sure I have hooked this. Oh, no. Just feel... Oh, God, the camera's off the wrong way. Mm. Nah, I'm pretty sure there's not a fish on here. Definitely feels pretty slack. We'll get it up and we'll have a look. Oh wait, there's a fish. It's a little dogfish. Oh, you've deep hooked yourself. Oh, buddy. Wait, 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 wait. calm down. Yeah, I know, I pulled you out the water, which is distressing. have time to chat about the situation that you find yourself in. I will deal with this hook if you give me a moment. Right, cam. I'm gonna end up with dogfish rash. Oh, which way am I pulling the hook? That's the you hooked yourself while we were fighting. Okay? A little unfair on you, I'm sorry. Come on. Oh, Jesus. I need to get back and pull the head here. Ow. Come on. There we go. No point using circles is to try and avoid that. Right. Another little dogfish there. With his little nasal flaps. Yesterday was a dog was a bull hus. So that was probably a dogfish. Did you screw that? 
put the pedal in yet. Right. Now we're turning. Paddles out of the way. It's all behind me. You know how to do it properly. But we got it up. That's all that really matters, isn't it? It's up, it's out of the way. We're not wet. So that is right. Head down. This is gonna be a windy pedal back in. And let's head in. I'm probably gonna run out of GoPro card on the way in. So thank you very much for watching this little camping adventure. No idea, as I've said multiple times, no idea how I'm actually gonna edit these videos together. So it could be two videos, it could be one video. There's only a few fish caught. Most of them were yesterday. So probably gonna be one video with different clips in. I, um, yeah, I haven't really got a plan. But thank you very much for watching. And have a good night. I always say night, but you know, it's daytime. Anyway, have a good day. Thank you for watching. Let's get out of trouble. Let's get in without getting bailed out my kayak. Definitely bumpy. I'm so clear here, I can see the bottom and we're on about five, probably about four meters of water. Little wave lips here. Big rock underneath me now. are actually rebounding off the beach because there's a big shelf rock in front of me and a big shelf of rock here we're just trying to hit it down the channel and we're in cut the wheels warning south there's raining what a disaster Right.